the time machine. Chapter 7 When Night Came Waking, the time traveler feels worse than ever, as if he is not just lost, but in a trap. He fears the darkness of the new moon and what foul villainy the Morlocks might do on the nights that will come. He realizes that his initial thought about the two species was wrong. The Morlocks are in charge, not the Alloy. The positions of servant and aristocrat have been reversed. He decides he needs to have a weapon and a secure place to sleep. He sets off with Weena for the Palace of Green Porcelain, some 18 miles away. Weena picks flowers as they go. At this point in the story, the time traveler breaks off. Reaching into a pocket, he takes out two withered white flowers and lays them on the table. Then he continues. Realizing that they cannot make it to the palace before nightfall and a thick, Darkwood stands between them. The time traveler decides to stop on an open hillside. He is carrying Weena, who is fast asleep. Resting, he looks at the stars, thinking about how much of human civilization has been swept out of existence between his time and this one. He also realizes that the meat he has seen underground is probably Aloy's flesh. The Aloy are simply an easily available source of food for the Morlocks. Waking the next day, he makes four decisions to make some sort of weapon, to find a source of fire, to create a battering ram to open the bronze pedestal and get his machine, and to take Weena back with him to his time. 